right, Matrix and Roadshow supporters. Well, last night was a DNC fundraiser in New York by the Hollywood elites for one Joe Biden. In case you don't know this, Obama was there. Oh, my goodness. Obama. And uh, Bill Clinton was there taking times away from any uh, hand jobsy kind of secretaries that hang out around him. Uh, so they were there last night, and uh, Lizzo was there. Yeah, you know Lizzo. Uh, right there on the right, that uh, that uh, well. There, I, I kept it real here. Uh, uh, why would they get her to play this? Well, let's see. Let's see. She's black, she's female, and she's fat. Yeah, so they got fat-ass Lizzo there. Pretty much checks all the boxes of the Democratic Party right now. And the, their supporters, you couldn't get uh, Fanny Willis's big ass up there to sing a song or two with Lizzo in some kind of duet. I'm shocked. I'm really shocked. Now, keep in mind, while this crap was going on, the great President Donald Trump was just over in Long Island paying respects to fallen NYPD officer Jonathan Diller. Biden did not go. This was just a few miles away. If this doesn't tell you the Democratic Party absolutely does not care about your safety, they only care about criminals and their rights, and and this elite fundraiser is all you need to know and see to realize they don't care about you anymore. The, the party that was supposedly blue collar back in the day, they don't give a rip about you. So in case you have not been paying attention, Lizzo's fat ass has been um, under fire, all right? She's being accused of sexual abuse, uh, P. Diddy style, right? And um, the attorney of the abusers and accusers, uh, actually the abused accusers attorney, uh, came out last night and slammed the DNC for having Lizzo there to sing a song or whatever she was doing. All right, now, I can't think of anything more vomit-inducing than having to see Lizzo do anything. Uh, I don't know why every time I see her picture, I feel like the room starts stinking. Like, Like the room and the taste in the room just doesn't seem right. It seems effed up. Every time I see her picture, so we're not going to just glance at her. We're not going to look at her too much. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, the whole room smells like rancid bacon grease that's been sitting around for like 12 years. Grammy-winning pop star Lizzo's appearance at the celebrity-drenched New York fundraiser for President Joe Biden on Thursday night drew an angry response from one party in particular. News Nation reports an attorney for her former backup dancers, Ariana Davis, Crystal Williams, and Noel Noel. Rodriguez turned on the DNC for their hiring the, quote, good-as-hell singer to headline the night at Radio City Music Hall. I don't know any of Lizzo's songs, so excuse me if I don't celebrate her entire catalog, uh, Michael Bolton style. Quote, it's shameful that Lizzo would be chosen to headline an event like this amid such egregious allegations. The, the, The Democrats don't care. They don't care if they could have George Floyd himself, the ghost of George Floyd, his criminal ass float across the stage. They would do it because that's exactly the the people that support and have made guys like that. Lizzo, P. Diddy, George Floyd, the people that have made him a martyr. That's their voting base. Uh, They don't care. Ron, Ron Zambrano told the outlet, without getting into politics, I can't imagine why anyone would want Lizzo representing them in any way, given her reprehensible behavior. It's just a terrible look. The Three Presidents event saw Stephen Colbert. Oh, God. We talk a lot of late-night scumbags here. Uh, he's one of the scummiest of the bags. Moderate, moderated a discussion between Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, and current President Joe Biden against a backdrop of pro-Palestinian protesters outside yelling insults. Now, it's hilarious. 
It's hilarious because Joe Biden's been so wishy-washy towards Israel, he lost a bunch of Jews in the voting base to Trump, and then he's losing the other side because he won't come out and, and blatantly and outright call for a ceasefire and slam Israel. He's getting it double hammer fisted to him. You're getting, uh, uh, what is it? Spit roasted. <laughs> yeah, Joe Biden's getting spit roasted by both sides. It's glorious. As entertainment, Lizzo belted out her hit, quote, about damn time. Okay. And MC, oh, radical. Mindy Cowling joked that it was nice to be in a room with, quote, so many rich people. Is that a joke? I don't think that's a joke. That's exactly who they cater to now, the Hollywood elite. I mean, look at them. They think they're heroes up there. All right. Adding she loved they were supporting a president who openly promised to, quote, raise your taxes. It should be noted, the mess we're in right now all started with this some bitch right here on the left named Obama. Others on the show list were Queen Latifah. I know her. Leah Michelle, don't know her. Ben Platt, don't know him. Cynthia Evero, don't know her or him, who all joined Lizzo with Zambrano unsparing in the criticism of the latter. Lizzo continues to shame the victims with Diddy using the same playbook. It's disgusting. <laughs> oh, this is good. History is keeping receipts, and years from now, people will be ashamed that they worked with her. Lizzo's reckoning is coming. This is just the beginning of the music industry's hashtag me too moment with allegations against Lizzo, Diddy, and others. We aim to end this misogynistic behavior across the industry and look forward to hearing from not only additional potential Lizzo plaintiffs, but anyone who feels they have been wronged by other artists. Uh, that's hilarious because you said misogynistic and she's supposed to be a chick. Supposed to be. I mean, she's out there supporting the Democratic Party, so who knows what she's swinging around. Uh, if you can find it, good luck. Lizzo is being sued by the dancers who allege she behaved in mo a monst monstrous, monstrous fashion to them on a number of occasions, including pressuring them to eat bananas from their vaginas of strippers while visiting a strip club in Amsterdam. Okay. One dancer claims Lizzo, who championed her own obesity as, quote, beautiful. The air tastes bad again. And empowering, fat shamed her after she gained weight. So, fat-ass Lizzo was shaming one of the dancers who put on a few pounds. Wow. Okay. That's like Jabba the Hutt fat shaming Bib Fortuna after he gained a bunch of weight. The, the suits have encouraged others to come forward with their own accusations against Lizzo, dealing her reputation another series of setbacks. Lizzo has denied all charges, although her career has taken a substantial hit since her accusers have come forward. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, shit, Disney had her on The Mandalorian Season 3. She come up there, I thought it was Jabba's cousin or something that had been out in the sun and got a tan. Yeah, I said that. A report claimed that the NFL dropped Lizzo from consideration to play the Super Bowl halftime show. Thank God. In addition, organizers of the Made in America Festival in Philadelphia announced the abrupt cancellation of last year's event which was to feature Lizzo as a headliner. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Wow. Wow. I, I Look, I don't blame the accuser's attorney for slamming them. I mean, they should have. They were in the wrong for having her. But again, I mean, when you think about Biden's demographics and who he's trying to reach, he's trying to reach Lizzo. That's who he wants voting for him. I mean, look, it, it, Trump has gained a tremendous amount of, of voters in the black male category. I mean, his popularity has exploded there. But it's the, the, his biggest bunch of haters is, for whatever reason, obese black women. I don't get it. I don't understand. I mean, Letitia James is going after him. Fonnie Willis is going after him. I'm sure Lizzo can't stand President Trump. 
That's hilarious. And now she's being lumped in with Diddy. Hey, let's not forget Deshaun Watson and Bill Cosby. Let's just put them all in there together. In case you guys aren't following Antonio Brown, the ex-NFL wide receiver on X slash Twitter, oh my God, you got to. He is crushing P. Diddy, uh, Bill Cosby, Deshaun Watson. I mean, he's turned into like the best follow, period. And he is crushing Joe Biden these days. I mean, obliterating him into the dirt. It's hilarious. It's a great follow. Uh, anyway, wow. Now, this doesn't surprise me at all. You've got Trump over there. He was invited by the Diller family, by the way, to show up. He shows up. I mean, he hu- he hugged the family, spoke to him, and he said something very important. Jonathan Diller's death cannot go unanswered. In other words, his death has to represent change back to a law and order society. We can no longer have the inmates running the asylum. That's my part, but you get the point. Mm, credit to Trump for doing that. And and he should have. Biden couldn't couldn't make a 25-minute drive to go. That's all you need to know. This guy's a scumbag. Biden's a scumbag. Look at his son. I mean, shit. Maybe Hunter and Lizzo can hang out together. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.